make sure I'm ready for this video real quick. Got my notes? Check. Pepsi? Check. Sunglasses? Check. Hat? Check. And yes, thick skin? Check. Let's go! Welcome to Golden Blue today, everybody. If you are a college football fan, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because that's all we do here. Videos every single day. And when you get a chance, go check out our Patreon page. We have a lot of great perks over there. We call our Patreons the Shot Callers because they call the shots around here. Remember, $5 and up Patreons will get to decide the game that we're going to live stream in the regular season and you'll get to watch with me, Golden Blue Dude. And our score prediction contest will be coming back. Every week, I'll pick out a game and my Patreons will pick the score and whoever comes close to the score wins $20. And you can win as many times as you want. In this video, I want to talk about West Virginia's new uniforms. Well, just a one-time thing for the Backyard Brawl in 2022. West Virginia has revealed some new uniforms, and I like it. But first, I want to talk about the bad uniforms, the uniforms that I, I don't like. And it has a lot to do with the color gray. I am not a fan of gray uniforms. And I get it, the gray is supposed to represent the coal dust, but I still don't like it. But West Virginia does like to bring out the gray every once in a while. And believe it or not, recruits like the gray uniforms the most. That baffles me, but it is what it is. So I want to talk about the bad uniforms first. The first one that I'm totally not a fan of is the uniform combination of the black helmet with the white, black, and gray pants, the white, black, and gray jersey, and it's all outlined in gold. I mean, this is not the worst of the worst, but I'm definitely not a fan. I mean, the only thing that resembles West Virginia in this combination is the flying WV. That's it. And maybe the gold. I guess the gold would count. But too much gray and, and there's a lot going on. I just don't like it that much. The next combination that I don't like is the combination of the blue helmet, the gray and blue jersey, the blue pants, and it's all outlined in gold. This one's actually worse than the one I mentioned before. At least they have the blue helmet in there. But once again, too much gray, and I don't think it matches at all. I, I think this is a bad look. I think it actually clashes a little bit. The third combination that I don't like is the gray and blue helmet. What in the world? Uh, I do not like this at all. The gray and blue jersey and the gray and blue pants. Well, at least they have a theme in that, gray and blue, and it's all outlined in gold. But once again, this is just way too much gray, and I don't like it. The fourth combination, I, I, I guess I can say I don't like, but it is the best out of this bunch. It's the black helmet, the black jersey, the black pants, and it's all outlined in gold. This is not terrible, but it's still not blue and gold. I like blue and gold, gold and blue. That's why I'm called gold and blue, dude. All black, not my thing, but it's not a terrible look. The fifth combination that I do not like, the gray helmets, the gold jersey, the gray pants outlined in blue. Way too much going on here. I mean, they did incorporate more gold in this combination, but this is a mess. I don't like this at all. The sixth combination that I do not like is the blue helmet. There you go, the blue helmet. The gray and blue jersey and pants outlined in gold. So the only thing different about this one is the blue helmet. It still looks awful to me. The seventh combination that I do not like, the gold helmet. Now we're starting with the gold helmet, but gray and blue jersey gray and blue pants and all that's outlined in gold the only thing that i like about this is the gold helmets that's it the eighth combination that i do not like is the gold helmet once again the gray and blue jersey but gold pants this time so they're putting in a little bit more gold hoping that makes it look a little bit better i don't think it does at all in fact it might make it a little bit worse and finally the ninth combination involving the collar gray that i do not like starting out with the white helmet which i do like but then you throw in the gray and blue jersey and the gray and blue pants outlined in gold so once again the only thing different is the white helmet and it actually makes it look worse. Now maybe there's some gray combinations that I missed out there. Y'all let me know in the comments what combinations I missed. But now it's time to talk about the combination for the backyard bra. It's supposedly the only time that they're gonna wear this. Although I like it so much, I actually hope that they wear it more. Now from what I'm seeing, this would be an away jersey and I'm fine with that. How I would describe this? I would describe this as clean, but still busy at the same time. This is a great combination. First, we'll start with the helmet. It's a white helmet with the blue state of West Virginia and the gold flying WV centered in the middle of the state. That's a great start right there. Then they mix it up with a blue and gold stripe down the middle with a lightning effect in the centered blue stripe with a blue face mask. I think all this comes together perfectly. Yes, there's a lot going on, but at the same time, it's still simple. I like the little detail of the lightning effect in the stripe. Nice touch, guys. Now onto the jersey. 
It's a white jersey with blue numbers outlined in gold. We have the name of our state, West Virginia, centered in the front of the jersey, and it's in the color blue. It has blue shoulders with the lightning effect, gold trim at the bottom of that. Now there's some interesting details in the neckline that you're not gonna be able to see. First, there's the blue collar with the lightning effect. Nice touch once again. A gold center in the front with the state of West Virginia in the color blue, and a gold flying WV centered in the state of West Virginia. Then in the back of the neckline where you can't see, it says, Q Country Roads in gold. That is a very nice touch. And you can't forget about the blue Big 12 emblem outlined in gold on the left side of the jersey. This is a great combination and I like the hidden Q Country Roads in the neckline. Although I wish it would be visible. Well actually I guess having Q Country Roads on the back of the helmet makes up for that. So I'm actually okay with Q Country Roads being hidden in the back of the neckline. The last thing is the pants. They're white pants with blue and gold stripes going down the sides. Of course lightning effect in the blue portion. Hey you're being consistent i like that blue state of west virginia with a gold flying wv in the center on the left side of the pants once again this is all tied together there's nothing crazy going on i like the little details of the lightning effect in the helmet stripe on the side of the shoulders and on the pants stripes this is well thought out it looks great it's a clean look it's a little busy but it's not too busy this is probably one of my favorite uniform combinations I love that they featured the state of West Virginia several times. And I think the helmets are actually better than the throwback helmets that they wear from time to time. This is kind of an updated version of those throwback helmets. Anything with the state of West Virginia on it, I'm all for. I think they nailed this. I think this is perfect. Way, way, way better than any of the gray combinations. So things I don't like about this uniform combination. I, honestly, guys, I, I really can't think of anything that I don't like about this jersey combination. I love the detail of the lightning and the stripes and the shoulder pads. I like that the outline or the complete state of West Virginia is on the helmet and on the pants. I love the stripes on the pants and the helmet. I think that was a great, well thought out detail. I just think it all goes together perfectly there's nothing in this uniform combination that throws it off and maybe if they could come up with a blue version of the jersey they could wear this for a home combination as well being a white jersey this is going to be an away combination but if you change that jersey to blue or gold this could be a home jersey combination and i would love it so there you go the new combination for the backyard ball of 2022 supposedly only going to be worn for that game let me know in the comment section what you think about these uniforms and do you agree with me with the gray combinations and yes, I get it. The gray is for the coal dust. I still don't like it. Sorry, guys. So who's ready for some college football and the return of the backyard brawl this year? I know I am. Even if you're not a West Virginia fan or a Pitt fan, you have got to be looking forward to this game. Sorry, Pitt fans. You picked the wrong year to play West Virginia with all that you lost and all that we gained. We're coming for you. We're going to make it four in a row, Pitt. So all I got to say about it is let's go, Mountaineers. And Q Country Roads, baby. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.